Hello and welcome to the Python tutorial series. My name is Daniel Lari and today we are going to learn a few concepts in object-oriented programming. Uh, one is instance members and second one is constructor and we'll see one more time what is called self. In the previous session we have seen and we have uh, learned that how to create the class okay and uh, how to create and how to instantiate the object by uh, some values and if you want to perform some action then you can define the methods so what is called instance uh, member or what is called instance variable if i talk uh, if i say uh, members means uh, i'm talking about uh, the variables and methods both so uh, instance variable means those variables which are associated with your object for example the name as you can see self dot name means it is associated with your object so name is an instance variable salary is instance variable email is instance variable so what is the benefit of this so instance variables as name suggests uh, as we know that the definition of object is called instance of a class so uh, every object will have its own instance variable and will have its uh, own value for uh, those instance variables so if i create a number of objects for example as you can see EMP1 and EMP2. So EMP will have its own name, salary, and email, and EMP2 will have its own name, salary, and email with different values. So uh, I'm going to uh, show you with some uh, uh, figure and picture that how they are going to be stored in the memory and how they get initialized. So this will be an abstract representation. Just look at here and uh, just understand uh, the working mechanism behind it. So what will I do? I will use the paint here. So uh, when you write like this uh, EMP1 or em, uh, and employee and you pass some values. So in memory, one object will be created and that object will be pointed by EMP1. And uh, since uh, this is object, so it will create in a memory area that we call as heap memory area so i will create the heap memory area as zigzag form so this is my heap memory and this heap memory uh, will have one object as since we are creating the object uh, i'm talking about this statement okay so this will uh, create an object and this will have some values in variable so first one will be name with the name is daniel and second one will be uh, salary okay and salary will be uh, that is 40000 if i say and the email so what is the email address we are providing the email address is daniel at gmail.com and this object that is created inside the heap memory area will be pointed by one uh, reference that is emp1 okay now this will be look like if i say then uh, this will be look like this so now you can understand that this is your representation so if i call emp1 dot uh, name then i will access the daniel if i call emp1 dot sally then i'll access the value 40000 if i call emp1 dot daniel then i'll access uh, emp1 dot email then i'll access daniel at gmail.com similarly if i create emp2 so another object will be created into the heap memory area with some other values okay so it will create another object and it will have its own uh, members and values for example name will be initialized with hassan uh, let me write hassan and a salary will be 50000 and email will be its email uh, that is uh, hassan at gmail.com okay and one reference will point to it and the reference name is emp2 fine and this will be like this so as we know that uh, by the blueprint we can create a number of objects so this is employee first object and this is employees second object and every object will have its own data so if i make changes and if we make changes into one object so it won't be reflected into another for example if um, if you have a uh, same type of the two building and if you make changes into one building color then it will not reflect into the another building but both are object of the same uh, uh, blueprint so in the same way uh, this 
these are the objects that is uh, coming from the employee definition but everyone has its own uh, uh, variable its own data so these are called that is associated with the object these are called your instance variables so now if i call emp2 dot salary then it will go into its own object and it will access it in the same way for example if i write here emp1 dot and here i call that is salary is equal now 60000 okay so now it will access emp1 dot salary that will be this object and it will assign 60000 so whenever you perform this operation this will perform and this will now change this value to 60000 okay so it will be update but only within this object not inside this object so let's see if i execute this code then you can see here that we are getting the value as a 60000 in its uh, objects value okay so i hope this is clear that how uh, the objects are created into the head memory area and how your uh, references points to these objects again uh, now come to the constructor constructor means uh, what is the purpose of it uh, first understand that uh, the purpose of constructor is to initialize the instance data members with some dynamic value okay so if you have a number of instance uh, data members for an object then you will write like this and you will pass the values through the constructor and this is called constructor so whenever you call this automatically your init will be called i have already explained in the previous session okay so if i pass daniel then it will be uh, initialized into the name if i pass 40000 then it will be initialized into the salary and if i pass this email address then it will be initialized into email and self self will be always uh, the first argument in uh, your methods and self will point to the current object so in the case of this statement the current object is emp1 so emp1 dot name and emp1 dot salary emp1 dot email similarly e employee this one and make sure that uh, the number of argument that you have into your init method whenever you are creating the objects that must be matched okay so this uh, uh, this can be your uh, uh, different type of the argument you can pass a named argument or a default argument we have already learned in the function uh, in the python uh, a core python tutorial so you can write uh, into the init method also and one more thing uh, suppose i call show details okay so if i write emp1 dot show details so what will be the value of self so i have already uh, told you that is self will be the object by which you are calling the method let me create one method here that is abc uh, anything and here is i'm passing another object into it okay and let me print the values of uh, self dot name here and i'm passing another object dot name what i'm going to do here uh, I will pass two objects into it so if i call let me delete this first emp1 dot and abc so self will be your emp1 and another object i am passing that is emp2 okay so emp1 will be self and another object will be your emp2 so let's see that what is the output daniel and another Hassan. Similarly, if I write emp2 dot abc and passing the value as emp1, emp1, this one. So now self will become your emp2 and emp1 will be your another object. So in this case, name that uh, self will access will have the value as Hassan and this will be Daniel. Just look at here. Okay. So uh, this is the way that you access the methods and uh, the instance members uh, in just remember this one those members which are associated with the objects are called instance data members and uh, whenever you uh, create any object you call a special member that is called constructor and whenever you write like this it uh, calls uh, any special method in your class that is called init 
in it is called automatically you don't need to call it and it will initialize your data members with some dynamic values so i hope constructor and uh, instance data members are clear if still if you had uh, if you have doubt then you can put your queries into the comment box uh, definitely i'll give you the answer so thank you for watching this video please like comment and share your views and don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you bye bye